Hey y'all, hey, it is Joyce from Elite Expressions. And I wanted to do just a quick tutorial on how to size rhinestone trim, okay? So this rhinestone trim, this is a two millimeter rhinestone trim. <clears throat> and this one, this is three millimeters. And this one, this is four millimeters. This is the one that I generally use if you've seen some of my older videos where I make letters and things like that. So how they go about sizing these is by measuring, all right? So one of the gems on one side, this is a two millimeter. If we hold it up to, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find a side of the tape measure that I can use. All right. Now, forgive my tape measure because it is old, okay? So, basically, when they're saying this is a two millimeter, it is the size of one gem on one side, okay? And I'm sorry, I can't. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in. All right. Right there. So basically, one gemstone is two millimeters. So in all together with the two row, okay, it comes out to exactly four millimeters, all right? So when you are buying rhinestone trim, when they say it's two millimeter, they are talking about the actual gemstone. Now, if you were to buy this in a single row, okay, it would just be one-sided. I can't show it, but it would just be a single row, and it would be small rhinestones just like that, all right? So the same thing with this one. This is a three millimeter, and then this one is a four. Now, this here is a four millimeter how many rows? One, two, three, four row rhinestone trim, okay? So when you are purchasing rhinestone trim, you are going for the actual size of the gemstone, all right? Let's see if I can measure one of the four millimeters so that you can see, all right? And if it puts it into perspective, I generally use four to six millimeter rhinestone trim, okay? So right there at the millimeter mark, let me, hold on, let me put my reading glasses on while I'm telling y'all the wrong thing, hold on. So one gemstone, if you measure it from that three to this line right there, that's exactly four millimeters. So, of course, if you put the two rows together, it comes out to eight millimeters. So, with this, you can buy it in single strand, where it would look like that. Single, double, triple, quadruple, all right? And they also have a five millimeter, all right? So, when you're buying trim, you are buying for how tight you want it to look on a glass. So here's a glass here. Don't mind that drip, it's gonna get covered, okay? So if I'm doing this glass, and I want it to be really tight, really demure, put together, then I would use that, okay? Probably for a female, because it's a little bit more dainty. This three millimeter in terms of making letters. It has a little bit more curvature, okay? I would probably use that. And then this one, more manly, is heavier, a lot more substantial. I will use this. I also use this one for letters. So let's check out currently the amount of curve available in each one, okay? So let's try to make a circle. So this one 
curves pretty good, but it doesn't lay flat. That's about as much curve as I can get. That's the two millimeter. This here is the three millimeter. And I'm just gonna curve it as much as I can keep it flat. So you can get slightly more curve on this one. And this is if you're making more rounded letters, things like that, okay? Let's see, it's raising right there. And this one, and truth be told, I usually use more block letters. But in between, you see, there are more, it's more space there in between. So this one, and I might have lied earlier and said the smallest one has the best curvature. But this one also curves really well, but you have to keep in mind if you're using this to make letters or anything like that, it's going to be a bigger product, okay? So these are my go-tos. And of course, the gemstone is silver. But the back, when they're talking about the back class or the back color, you can get those in gold. Sometimes it comes in other colors. When they're saying rhinestone trim to row for a millimeter AB, then that's when you get like the more iridescent gems. I purchase all of my rhinestone trim from uh, wholesale, wholesale rhinestone or rhinestone wholesale, and they're based out of China. They deliver through DHL. And so they have so many different trims and colors, but all of these really make a hell of a difference when you are putting together a glass because number one, it makes it go a little quicker. You know, when you're adding some of these as opposed to gemstone and one by one by one, it's definitely something to be, you know, considered, okay? Um, these are also good outlining measures that you can use, you know, for glasses. Uh, I generally use them on this glass around this rim, around here, around the edges, around the top. And then I can gemstone a couple of rows. So just wanted to kind of put you up on, I know a lot of people are getting into decorative glassware and they may or may not be aware of what size is what, at least this way you'll know how it's measured, okay? So in recap, if you were to get a two millimeter single row rhinestone trim, it would be this with just one row. This is double row, it can go up as much as triple, and up to five rows, okay? So you can get this in one to five row. But when you are purchasing, and they're speaking of the actual size, and they say two millimeter, they're talking about the size of the gem. And so the gem size is what matters, okay? And so here, I hope this is a good shot where you can actually see the sizes of the rhinestone trim, two, three, and four. Um, I think they do go up as big as about a six millimeter, but those for me are a little too gaudy, okay? And so in between, this one has more space. These are a tighter class, okay? I hope all of that makes sense and um, yeah. Just wanted to do a quick video and, oh, look at that hangnail right there. Look at that, look at that. So just wanted to do a quick video, let you know I'm still around, still living, still thriving. And we'll go from there. Also, about this glass, there's no information that's going to be given on it. So i um, been turning off comments because I just can't always find a nice way to say I don't offer any information, especially when I offer information about everything else that we use, but that glass is our bread and butter. So, all right, I hope you this has been helpful. 
and you've learned a little something about rhinestone trim i have a facebook group entitled youtube resin and decorative glassware crafters that i would love for you to check out um, i am on all social media platforms under elite.expressions15 and also feel free to visit my Etsy shop. I'm trying to get my as made on YouTube section together so that you can purchase items that you see me make on video for a discounted price. It's been a pleasure. Enjoy this rainy afternoon. Bye.